everybody, it's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about these mask mandates. Now, a, a couple of states are, 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 are allowing us to uh, take these masks off. You, is that well, what they're doing? Connecticut, California, New Jersey, uh, and that's for you know in schools and everybody's doing different things. And by the way. Just by uh, county by county, people can also make their own decisions. So they will not require it, and so that way people can make their own rules. Okay. So, so what what are your thoughts on it? You know, start with you. Yee, what do you think? Um, I just think it's a, a case by case situation. You know, I still feel a little cautious in certain spaces that are crowded and want to wear a mask. But then I also understand sometimes you're in a restaurant. I feel like there's no limitations anymore now. So, you know. Like, sometimes I don't wear a mask, depending on where I am. Sometimes I do, but I also got boosted. I also am fully vaccinated. So that makes me feel a little more protected. Yeah, I, I'm vaccinated and boosted, but I'm tired of the mask mandate. I mean, if I want to You want a mask, raw dog some air? But I feel like if you're unvaccinated, you should be more cautious. I do want a raw dog some air. And it gets to the point where a, a lot of times I travel in these different cities and I'm confused because in New York, you have to wear a mask when you walk into a restaurant. But in Jersey, you don't have to. But when you go to travel in different states, you have to. Then you don't have to. Then you have to. Then you don't have to. Then I watch my kids. They play football and basketball and they cheerlead and they dance and they go to gymnastics. They don't have to wear their mask. But then it's just confusing. All these mandates have been silly. And the reason all these mandates have been silly is because everybody wants to act like they know when the reality is we're all learning on the job. You know what I mean? That's what COVID has been this whole time on the job training. So I just hope this is one of those times where, you know, they're going to lift the mask mandate. Then when the rates shoot back up, they'll tell folks, put the mask back on and act like they never told us to put the, take the mask off to begin with. I think everybody should do what they feel comfortable doing. Personally, I made my mind up a long time ago. I'm definitely wearing my mask at the airport. Because I'm learning from the Asians. Because Asians always, Asians and Michael Jackson was ahead of the curve when it came to wearing their mask in airports and public places like that. That I shall continue to do. Hello, who's this? Hello, this is Erica. Good morning. So, what are your thoughts on the mask mandates? Um, take them off. <laughs> take them off. And I say that because you could smell somebody stink breath and a fart through that mask. That, that is your, your by, by the way, that's your breath. That's your breath. There, there's no, nothing. It, it, could be, it could be, but I'm Ain't saying, no I'm could be. Saying, you need a root canal. No, no, I don't. <laughs> no, take them off. I'm just tired of them. And it's not preventing nothing. You get it, you get it, you don't, you don't. You wouldn't say that about condoms. What? You wouldn't say that about condoms. Uh, yeah, I would. Wow. You know, kind of yes, I would. Mama. You nasty. That's why your breath smells like that. Dude. <laughs> no, my breath, my breath smells very well. Let me hear it. Let me I smell. Let me, Let me smell. Okay. Go. Who? Who? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. We got to hang up ah, on you. I Lord, smell that through the mercy. phone. Goodness your breath gracious. is an FCC violation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Goodness Your gracious. breath smells like the seven dirty words we can't use on this radio. Hello, who's this? Good morning, this is Ernest. How you guys doing? Ernest, good morning. Good morning, We're talking Ernest. about the mask mandate. What are we doing? Man, you got to keep those masks on. You you talking to somebody who had COVID, was in the hospital two weeks last year. Oh, True. okay. Got to gotta keep them on. The problem with this country, we have elected officials to make smart decisions for us ignorant people. And it's the ignorant people who are always pushing the elected officials to make ignorant decisions. Ernest, did you have your mask on when you got COVID? I did not, my brother. I did not. Mm. I learned the hard way. True. Are you vaccinated? I work in the school now. I'm, I'm a school teacher. Yes, I'm vaccinated with my booster. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mask on in the school. Got to. Ernest, okay. I, I have no, uh, I have no dog in this fight. If you want to wear your mask, wear your mask. I'm, I'm going to wear mine in certain places still too. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wear mine in certain places, but certain places I need to take it off, man. I need some fresh air. Man. I mean, that's how I feel now, though. I'm, I'm, I'm living like that now. In certain places I wear my mask. Certain places I don't. Airport, definitely wearing the mask because the airport is nasty. 800-585-1051. We're talking about these mask mandates. In some states, they're allowing you to take the masks off. So we're asking, what are you going to do? What are your thoughts? Call us now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 